Hi everyone, uh, it's Lisa here from Transmission. Uh, yesterday I said I'd do an AMA video and ask me anything to mark today's uh, Transgender Day of Visibility. So here goes. Now, the first question I've been asked, one second, I'm just gonna move the camera. First, second, uh, first question I've been asked is how did I know I was transgender? So thank you, Andrew, for that. Um, as you would have seen on some of my other videos, the for me, the process was quite a slow one. Um, I always knew I was different. I always knew that I liked boys. Um, I assumed that because I had a penis and I liked people with penises, that I was gay. Um, even though I had a family friend who was transgender, um, one of the first in the country who I'm now very honoured to be named after, it, it, the, the two never connected in my head. It, the, the jigsaw piece never fitted. Well, in fact, to be fair, I never tried fitting the two pieces together. It wasn't until I was in my late teens that I kind of went, yeah, this isn't right. Something's not quite right here. Um, and then unfortunately, when Lisa passed away, that's kind of when the realization really hit. It was something that was said, um, which was that she was like me. And I ran away from that comment very scared. Um, and of course, now looking back, I know it's because it, it echoed and it resonated within me. And it was at the time, um, I didn't know what was actually happening. And it wasn't until my late teens, early 20s, when I, I actually realised. And then when you look back and you go, OK, so I never had boy dolls. You know, my action men played with my sister's Barbies and Cindy's. Um, you know, they were as at home in her Malibu Barbie car as they were in a jeep or whatever I, I i played with the girls at school all the time um i was very good at all the feminine quote unquote the girly type subjects so i did cooking and um sewing and things like that i was always good at those and enjoyed those drama anything that was remotely butch i tended to stay away from um but again at the time it just meant i was gay obviously just gay that was it um and it wasn't until as I say, much later on that the kind of the awareness hit and 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 then it was a case of, well, what the fuck do I do now, um, to be honest with you? So, yeah. So anyway, ho Andrew, I hope that answered your question. So Kim's asked me a question. She says, how do I feel on hormones? Um, to be honest with you, I just feel like me. I feel quite emotional at the moment. Um, but then that's kind of quite honestly, that's, that's who I am anyway. I'm quite an emotional person. Um, so I do think the hormones are having an effect on my emotions. They're certainly bringing them to the forefront. Um, but are they making me, you know, far more emotional? Possibly. Um, physically wise, I've noticed that my testicles are, have shrunk. They used to be um, quite loose in the sack and hang low, whereas now they're quite firm and, and up against the body. Um, my nipples seem to be larger um, and are very, very sore, to be honest. Um, the breast tissue underneath the nipple is also sore. If I push it, it feels kind of bruised. So yeah, so some physical changes. It's only six weeks in, um, so it's early yet, but because my own hormone levels without anything, without taking anything, we're in the postmenopausal female range. I, I, I haven't had so much to fight against, so my body itself is kind of in the female zone. So basically all the hormones are doing is pushing that forward. So there you go. So anyway, I hope that's answered your question. Let's go on to the next one. The next question is from Ellen, who says, what is the worst and best things about being trans? So I guess the best thing about being trans, um, is that I know myself, uh, I know myself very intimately. I've had to do a massive load of internal journeying um, and looking at who I am, <sighs> what's important to me. I don't know if you can hear my cats, but they're doing quite a bit of journeying at the moment as well. But what's important to me, what my values are, all of that. So I've had to do, you know, quite a long journey um, for that. Um, so that's kind of the, like, I suppose that's the best thing. I know myself, I've got an insight into who I am. Um, there's also a whole two spirit thing. So I've walked part of my life up to about two years ago. Uh, I walked as a male and now of course I'm walking as a female. Um, there we go with this lovely little lady here. Mm. Um, so yeah, so I guess that's kind of quite a positive thing. Um, who's still seeing? The negatives, um, people's reaction, um, society uh, as a oh, society at large is kind of it's difficult sometimes dealing with people. Um, they're 
predisposed ideas about what trans is is difficult. Um, oh, yes, I love you too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, so, yeah, so I guess that's the hardest thing about being trans. Uh, hi, so Becky asked me when I think about Bruce Jenner transitioning. Um, to be honest with you, Becky, I don't think anything about it because it's none of my business. He hasn't come out and said that he is transgender. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of speculation, a lot of gossip, and uh, some stories leaked by other members of the family. But until Bruce comes out and says, I am transitioning, um, uh, I am a trans woman, and my name is, is now dot, 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 um, and I wish to be known as a female. Until that point, I will respect his privacy, refer to him as a male, and, um, yeah, continue to do so. As soon as he comes out and says that he's trans, um, and as soon as he makes that statement, then at that point, I will refer to Bruce by any name uh, that he so chooses and any pronoun that he so chooses. Up until that point, it's all speculation and I'm not prepared to do that, but thank you for the question. So there you go. There's an AMA from myself. Hopefully it's been um, a little bit informative. It's all in aid of Transgender Day of Visibility, which is March the 31st. Apparently, didn't know that until now. Do check out the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash UK transmission. I've got cats nudging me every which way. Um, do check that out and also check out the YouTube page which hopefully will be up and running properly and sorted this week with all these videos on YouTube as well. Um, yeah, a bit of um, an update on the charity. As soon as we get the money together we can um, get the website up and running and then hopefully from there we'll get the volunteers in place, get them trained and can open the phone line. So it's all about money at the moment. So if you want to donate you can do. Um, if you want to come to one of the ladies nights we're planning again please 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 do anything you can do to help will help us immensely this has been an ama video for transgender day of visibility from me lisa weston take care until next time i'll see you soon bye, -bye.